Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am working with Hermosa Hair. They sent me this a 13 by 6 HD lace frontal deep wave wig and I am so excited to show it to you guys. So first you guys can see this is 13 by 6 like I said. There are combs inside of the wig, um, an adjustable strap at the back of the wig and there is an adjustable elastic band as well. This wig also is supposed to be HD lace, but I will say that um, if the lace were actually HD, I feel like this wig will be like top notch. I love this wig, don't get me wrong. I just wish the lace was a little bit thinner and not so light because I did put some makeup on it towards the end. I don't know if I showed it or not, but I still feel like the wig had a bit of a cast that you could see the lace. But besides that, I still love the wig. So it is 26 inches as well. Y'all saw it stops like right at the top of where my butt starts. So definitely 26 inches on me. And I am 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, I feel like I'm 5'4". I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go with 5'4". Actually, maybe like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five, that range right there. That's where I feel like I'm at. So let me say this wig did not shed. I went ahead and just brushed it out to make... Um, wetting it down easier. I just like to get everything brushed and free from clumps so that it'll get wet easier. So look at how beautiful this wig was, y'all. Look at how beautiful. No, like this wig was so, so beautiful. It was so soft, so long. Like this wig, y'all, look at how pretty that is. Like this is like the prettiest deep wave wig I've ever seen. I don't know. But now I'm just going to be going by section and spraying it. Spraying it in sections is way, 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 way easier than just trying to spray one big section at a time. Definitely break it down. I'm going in with my little Denman brush to kind of spread the water. And then I'm going in with some mousse just to define the waves a little bit more. Um, this mousse, I think this was the meal mousse the pomegranate honey line i think this is all i had laying around so i use that i normally would prefer to use um nairobi or the uh, wrap lotion um the bnb &B. i don't know it's like the pink and the orange bottle i prefer those because they don't make the hair as hard as like a curl defining mousse would like where they create like a cast because i don't like for the curl to be so defined and flat I like it to be more fluffy but I made it work by just combing through and kind of breaking that cast after it dried because it was definitely pretty hard after it dried but yeah just going in sections and wetting the hair and once I got it all wet down on both sides with the mousse and how I wanted it to dry like how I wanted it to lay and dry I took it off and put it in front of the fan so it could dry faster because I didn't really have much time to like sit for hours and wait for it to dry. So my little trick is sit it on mannequin head in front of a fan and let it dry. Dry super quick. That's not really a secret but yeah. But yeah y'all see pretty soon how it turned out and I just want to say again I love this wig. Like I absolutely love it. Like I'm being so 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 honest. I absolutely loved it and i don't really tend to like curlier textures but yeah i loved it so again check out the description box give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um we're almost at the end so let me know how the finished look looks to you do you love it do you hate it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye guys